I was checking in with the SA African American Community Archive and Museum to get a history lesson. Plus, it's Father's Day weekend. Some special things you can do with dad, or maybe for dad, and maybe SA Live's dad will get some love too, right, Mike and Fiona? We have got a little bit of everything, a packed show on this Friday. Oh, yes. We are going to be talking about the history of Juneteenth with the San Antonio African American Community Archive and Museum. And we're going to be talking with some uh, Freedom Riders, an interview that we did a couple of months ago, and also some library books to talk to your kids about civil rights and what's happening right now. And, of course, Father's Day is happening Sunday. when? <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> yes, Just he has been it. counting down, so he's having his sons totally remember, which I know they will. So we, of course, are revisiting a special spot for dads today, Broadway news has all kinds of really great dad gifts it's so good we wanted to bring it back yes mm -hmm. and what would dad be without dad jokes sorry we hear but you tell them every day i do not every tell them every day you do everybody laughs, laughs. and of course jen munoz has some really creative dad gifts some unique ones too and special surprise for you Ooh, we have a, a surprise? gift for you mm -hmm. we all chipped in for selling all the dad jokes, I get a gift? Or do I tell a dad joke? How do you no, make a Kleenex a dance? That's come. <laughs> hey, this is San Antonio Staycation at a local hotel and at the same time giving back to the San Antonio Food Bank. And of course, the Parade of Homes begins Saturday tomorrow. So if you want to check out some incredible luxury homes, this is where you want to be. Yes, indeed. Plenty of dad jokes coming up. It is summer in Texas. Well, the solstice is on Saturday, I should say, which means this time of the year is going to make snakes more active. In mm. fact, experts at Texas A&M say that snake sightings will drastically increase. And if you don't meet any slithering friends around your home, they say there are two things you can do to find out what they are and learn more about the types of snakes you can find here in Texas. Just head to KSAT.com. I don't need to find out anything about snakes. Ooh. I just <laughs> don't want to know anything about them. That's terrifying. Okay. All right, Katie, let's Can talk we move weather. on? <laughs> it is going to feel a lot like summer. The yes, summer solstice tomorrow afternoon. High temperatures low to mid 90s all the way through next week with some isolated afternoon showers and storms possible. Hope everyone has a great Father's Day weekend. All right. Thank you so much, Katie. Thank you for watching. That is it for here. News at noon. That's right. Now it's time for SA Live and it starts right now. It's Juneteenth, a day to celebrate emancipation. The San Antonio African American Community Archive and Museum is telling us about the history of this important day. Jen catches up with Freedom Riders to hear about their involvement in the civil rights movement. And let's not forget about dear old dad. Father's Day gifts that will make him feel special. And we have a dad jokester here at the station. Trust me, we hear those jokes every day. Today <laughs> on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from the KSET 12 studios, this is SA Live. Good afternoon, I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Mike Oster Hage. Boy, there's a lot going on today. ABC is airing a Juneteenth special tonight at 7 p.m. here on KSAT 12. And of course, what's coming up Sunday? Father's Day, Thank Mike. You. Fiona, hey, do you like dad jokes? In general, but yours I don't know about. <laughs> I have one for you. Why can't a nose be 12 inches long? Why, Mike? Because then it would be a foot. Ah! <laughs> okay, so I hear you went around KSAT telling dad jokes to everyone else. So I'm glad I wasn't the only one suffering. <laughs> It was a day that people are still talking about. It, it, are they? they just, yeah, they loved it. Check it out. Okay, Robert, dad joke. My boys love these. Not really. Why did the math book look so sad? Why? Because of all the problems. <laughs> all right, Jeff, you're a dad. You like dad jokes? Kids like dad jokes? Uh, not really. No, no mine don't either. So, hey, here's one for you. Can February March? No, but April May. <laughs> They're great. I mean, you can't help but laugh, right? <laughs> We're talking dad jokes here. Oh, you're gonna, oh, don't, you're gonna don't, kids, joke? don't kids love dad jokes? Um, yes. Okay. <laughs> what do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. <laughs> it's probably a courtesy laugh from her, but that's okay. How do you make a Kleenex dance? You blow a little boogie in it. <laughs> 
All right, Tony, you're a dad. Yep. Do you tell your kids dad jokes? I do. You do? I do. Okay. Well, let's hear yours real quick. Oh, man, I'm on the spot. Um, I, uh, I tell them, uh, how do you make a the next dance? Put a little boogie in it. Yeah. Okay, here's one for you. <laughs> What's an astronaut's favorite part of a computer? Space bar. He's good. See, it's a dad. He's good. <laughs> You just know this stuff when you become a dad. Good job. All right. The tomato family is walking along, and the little tomato lags behind, and dad says, catch up. <laughs> See, he likes to laugh. <laughs> Sarah's going to really like this one because, you know, she's the meteorologist and kind of the technical science person. Why can't you trust atoms? Why? Because they make up everything. I thought you were talking about Adam Caskey. <laughs> <laughs> Horse walks into a bar, bartender says, why the long face? It's somewhere my boys are just going, oh, good dad. <laughs> Great, Jen, got a couple of dad jokes for you. Okay. Did your dad ever it. tell you dad jokes? Uh, no, <laughs> I don't think so. That's funny. Does, does Ryan tell the kids dad jokes? I, you know, I don't remember him doing so. I've, I've got some. I've got some uh, material for Ryan to use. So, okay, ready? Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> How does a penguin build its house? How? <laughs> it glues it together. Oh, I get it. It's <laughs> um, funny you said penguins, Julia. Just hey, did that. look at that, Julia. Oh, I'm reading a book about anti gravity. I can't put it down. <laughs> All right, you know, I could tell you a joke about pizza, but it's a little cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> I love the, pizza. <laughs> the best thing is, Jen is so sweet. She'll laugh at about anything. Thank you, Jen. I appreciate that. So, All right, Thanks. and one more thing. Hey, okay. you know what? I wouldn't buy anything with Velcro. Why not? It, it's a ripoff. <laughs> <laughs> Well, mm. what was your favorite? Yeah, <laughs> it's hard to say. In my old standby uh -huh. is a horse walks into the bar, bar uh. says, why the long face? <laughs> and and right now, somewhere my boys, just like in Star Wars The Force, they're going, Dad, no. Oh. So they love it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Switching gears now, we're also revisiting a special spot for dads today. Broadway News has all kinds of really great dad gifts. It's so good, we wanted to bring it back. So take a look. Grab a cup of coffee here at Mila Coffee Shop right along Broadway. And we're going to do a little shopping and show you some very, very unique gifts at some local businesses right here at Broadway News. Come on. This trailer is Bear Goods, and it's got those great personalized gifts for guys. All right, so here we are, and waiting for us, and put my coffee down, is Victoria. So this is the type of place where, you know, everybody's always asking us guys, what do you want, what do you want? Perfect little things that this maybe is the place. we don't say we want, but you're gonna open it up and go, oh, I love that. Exactly, right. this is the place you want to come. If you were going to buy one thing, what would it be? Show me. Oh, if I was going to buy something, I would probably get a wallet. It's a beautiful gift. We have lots of designs and it's very good quality. All of our leather goods are hand sewn, mm -hmm. handmade here in San Antonio, so it's local. Oh, wow. Yeah. And oh, perfect pen holders, anything Field you might notes. need, and even, a, even yeah. to hold a cell phone, perhaps. Yeah. Or we have the passport also. You can go as slim as you want. Perfect little card case. Yeah. Credit card, business card. Exactly. Company and ID. then if you want a really special, special gift, you could get a satchel, which are beautiful. They'll last a lifetime. That's a, so you know, much nicer than just an ordinary backpack if somebody yeah. wants to take it, but it doesn't look too formal, such as an attache or a briefcase. And that could hold the laptop. We have nice candles made mm -hmm. by us also. Some nice bandanas with beautiful designs. Just a little extra stocking stuffer yeah. type thing. Okay. Bandanas with a bandana ring. That could be a nice gift too. Yes. A lot of folks are sporting Apple watches yeah. and these can 
go with an ordinary watch or even Apple Watch, a nice little leather band, yes. right? Yes. So it's, again, these are the types of gifts that are very personal uh, that maybe a guy wouldn't think he wanted, but yeah, he's going to open it up and love it, he's right? He's going to love it. Well, you know, something that you sometimes never think about is guys like to be pampered, too. You guys, it's all women want to be pampered, but how about us guys? Let's come here to the Traveler Barbershop and get a little pampering done. Okay, Chuck Holdridge is the owner here of Traveler Barbershop, so it's the gift of pampering, right? Exactly, yeah. Um, you know, we're a traditional barbershop here. Uh, cuts, shaves, uh, the, the works. We do men's hair, women's hair here as well. We also have a great collection of some really, really great, great products here. So what would be the kind of thing that um, a guy would like as a gift or something like that? Sure, probably the easiest thing if the, you know, if he's a shaver or has a beard or a mustache, um, we offer beard balms, uh, beard oils, we have aftershave. Now those are great products because they'll work on everyone. You know, when it comes to haircut, shaving, it's sort of utilitarian. It's, you gotta do it you know, every day, every couple of weeks get your hair cut, but why not do a little pampering, right? No, that's exactly it, and that's why we try to do things the way we do. It's like, this is something you have to do. Right. So we want to make it as fun and as enjoyable as possible. You know, with the beer and the whiskey, to the hot towel shaves, and you get quite the full-on experience. And gift certificates are available? We definitely have gift certificates here. Okay. They are available in any denomination. They don't expire. You can use it here at our downtown shop, either location. All right, fantastic. Some more good gift ideas. All right, thank you, sir. All right, still ahead, the 2020 Parade of Homes begins tomorrow where you can find this gorgeous luxury home. And did you know tourism is the third largest industry in San Antonio? How you can take a staycation and help out the San Antonio Food Bank. That's next on SA Live. And don't forget our summer fun special in prime time coming up on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Camping without a long car trip, fun for the family on the big screen, heartwarming help for the community, great ideas for pets, and a whole lot more. Again, that's Tuesday, 7 p.m. on KSAT 12. Keep it here on SA Live. Well, of course, it's been a long few months at home, and we know a lot of you are just itching to get out and go out and about and everything. Well, there's a new campaign to give locals and out-of-towners a change of scenery while, of course, still staying, staying safe. And you'll be helping the food bank as well. Cassandra Mate, president uh, and CEO of Visit San Antonio, joins us today to tell us all about See San Antonio. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, well, tourism, hospitality is huge here. Third largest industry in the Alamo City. What do you think the immediate future for travel here across the state is? So as I'm talking with the U.S. Travel Association and many of my counterparts around the state, around the country, we know that the number one um, travel that's going to come back is going to be leisure travel. But people are going to stay close to home, whether it's doing staycations, whether it's going to be maybe some short drive market. And so that's probably the, the, the outlook, what we're going to see um, people dabbling this summer. And then hopefully by the end of summer, people taking that family vacation. All right, being such a, a big part of the economy, obviously tourism rebounding is important, but how important is it for this to rebound? You know, you mentioned we are the third largest industry uh, to this community, and that benefits all of us that live here. Um, you know, one of the things we talk about is how the travel industry, it creates jobs. Um, you know, there are so many people that are furloughed or that were laid off in our industry sector. So we want to get it moving so those people can come back to work, as well as, you know, it benefits all of us because those visitors, they stay in our hotels, they, they shop, they dine, they go to the museums. They pay into sales tax, which helps the general fund of the city, So, which impacts all of us. So I think it's very important that we um, responsibly um, move forward so we can get reopened. All right. So a lot of people, like I was saying off the top of this, you know, you've been kind of cooped up. You want to change the scenery, maybe not a big vacation somewhere else, but the staycation, which is always a great idea. What are the benefits of See San Antonio campaign? 
So we are so excited. Come June 15th, so this Monday, there are going to be over 150 individual offers in hotels, attractions, museums, restaurants for people to enjoy their value, their discounts, their added on experiences. Um, and you can go to our website to see who are offering, what all the variety of offerings are. But the great thing is if you take a staycation between June 15th and July 15th and stay at one of the hotels, 10% of your of the hotel revenue will go back to the San Antonio Food Bank. So it's a win. You get out of the house. It's a win because it's helping our industry. And it's a win because you're giving back to the food bank. That's fantastic. What well, still people might be a little kind of iffy about, uh, you know, being safe and all that. How are hotels and tourism spots taking those extra steps to keep people safe? There is absolutely no doubt the priority is health and safety for our community and our visitors. And that is a top factor for us. San Antonio is coming together to ensure that we emerge and, you know, from this crisis and we maintain safety and, and 1200 businesses locally that have signed on to this pledge. And it's looking at best practices. There's a promise of physical distancing, hand sanitizer. And um, I know I was in a hotel earlier this week uh, they're limiting number of people on elevators. They're limiting number of contact uh, to employees and they're utilizing technology, more frequency of cleaning um, and, and a deeper cleaning. So I really feel comfortable and confident that it, it's both of us, right? If you're the visitor, you've got to take some responsibility of wearing your mask and doing what you need to do. But there's a lot of guidelines that the businesses, attractions, hotels alike have taken. All right, well, anyone who stays in one of the 80 hotels participating in the C San Antonio campaign will have 10% of the rates go directly to benefit the San Antonio Food Bank and obviously do a lot of good in our community. And for more information, call 210-244-2000 or visit the website, visitsanantonio.com. Cassandra, nice chatting with you. Thank you so much. Joining us now is Heidi Cummings. She's the co-owner and operator out here at Raptitude. Right before you get to National Bridge Caverns off 3009, you gotta stop in at this tasty little spot. And we have a lot of really good food in front of us, but one thing you're known for, of course, it's in the name, is the wrap, right? Yes, sir. And this is like a cheeseburger in a tortilla, right? Burger, bacon, lettuce, fries, all inside. <laughs> Now, why, why this? What, came, what was the idea behind this? Uh, something quick, fast, and easy. Um, the sauce is homemade. Just something you can travel with on the road. Nice. And then it comes with some poppers on the side. What makes them different than um, other poppers you can get somewhere else? Those are our besos calientes. They are jalapenos de-seeded, stuffed with cream cheese. We wrap them in bacon and deep fry them. Ooh. That sounds like Texas right there in a <laughs> yes, nutshell. Right? That just Texas. So Heidi, did this restaurant, did it start here in Texas or where did it originate at? Our first location, we started in a little town called Welch's, Oregon, July 1st in 2010, which is still owned and operated by my husband and I. <laughs> That's incredible. It's the sauce on there. Is that made in house? Yes, sir, it is. It's our version of our fry sauce. Everyone has one in town, this is ours. And we call it the 46 sauce. Why is it called the 46 sauce? Because it's named after the highway right down the road here, the 46 highway. <laughs> the highway has a sauce named after it. It's a cheeseburger with the fries, the fry sauce crammed into this tortilla, and then you have the poppers on the side and this huge pile of fries. What would you say is the most popular item on the menu? I'm gonna have to say hands down that burger wrap. I claim this to say one. that it's life changing. <laughs> Imagine if you got the best tasting burger you've ever had and you shoved it into a tortilla, you added French fries and some of their incredible fry sauce. It's exactly what you're gonna get when you come out here. So you can get this on a burger. Yes, sir, you can. All right. Woo! <laughs> I've had a lot of spicy peppers in my day. No jalapeno has ever done this to me. It was hot. Now, speaking of Texas, everything's bigger when you come out here, including the loaded fries. I mean, this has like everything on it in the kitchen, basically, right? Yes, sir. It's got some cheddar cheese, ground beef, black beans, tomatoes, bacon bits. That's the bite right there. Oh, wow. That's it. That's it, y'all. <laughs> We're done. Let's just go home. I'm at 9625 Midsummer Place off of Scenic Loop Road with Adam Sanchez, president of Diamante Custom Homes. Such a treat to be standing here in front of such a beautiful home like this. And a home like this, I mean, for a future homeowner, this is, I mean, this is 
This is like a dream home. Yes, it is. I mean, what a great home. One of the best designs we've ever come up with. And what a great setting out here in Cantera Hills. You know, from the, the open courtyard entryway into, you know, the outdoor space in the rear. We've created so many living areas in this home. It's just a great floor plan, a great feel. Works great for families, empty nesters, ideal for entertaining, large family gatherings. It's just a great space, it really is. I tell you, when I walked through, one of the things you really notice is when, you, right after you walk in and you see that living room and the home actually feels even bigger than it is because of just the ceiling, the floor, you know, windows and doors, because that all opens right out into that beautiful backyard. Exactly, exactly. So, you know, those those soaring ceilings and all that glass just bring that outside in and vice versa. You know, again, it just creates this really, really open concept and just gives it such a warm feeling, um, you know, to just entertain, you know, relax, enjoy your quiet evenings or, again, a large gathering. And, of course, this home nestled here in Cantera Hills. Yeah, what a great location. You know, it's, you know, the northwest side of San Antonio, one of the fastest growing areas in town, um, anchored by that great development at La Cantera and the Rim. You know, so you're really convenient to that. Also joining me is Christy Sutterfield, Executive Vice President of the Greater San Antonio Builders Association. Thank you for being here today. I love Brianna, so good to see you. So tell us, how many homes will folks get to see when they come out to the Parade of Homes? There are six luxury custom homes, and there's so many different architectural styles. Uh, what do they need to know before they, they come on out? Well, you need to go to sabuilders.com to buy your tickets. We're selling tickets like going to the movies. So there are time slots available. We have a matinee from 10 a.m. to noon, and tickets are $10 per person. And then we have noon to two, two to four, four to six, and tickets are $15 per person. We do have parking on site. And um, we'll have golf carts bring attendees to the parade site. And all of our builders are following all the social distancing and sanitation protocols. And you do have some sponsors to thank, right? And we do. CPS Energy is our presenting partner, and they're a great partner for the Builders Association, but for all of San Antonio. Hollywood Crawford Garage Doors and Openers did the garage doors on this Diamante home, and they are a big partner. We want to say thank you to them, along with MG Building Materials. And when you come, you'll be able to see new Lincolns, new Lexuses, Volkswagens, Subarus, Mazdas, with the North Park family of dealers, and we thank them too. The 2020 Parade of Homes is presented in partnership with CPS Energy, Hollywood Crawford, and MG Building Materials. It runs from June 20th through the 28th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily. For more information, visit sabuilders.com. And you can find more on this particular home at diamantehomes.com. It's a history of our lives and where we have come from. Now I'm lonely without you. And it um, reflects our joyousness of being free, to be a free person, to not be enslaved. President uh, Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation in January 1st, 1863, um, abolishing slavery in all the Confederate states. General Gordon Granger was assigned to, to deliver the word to Texas. And so in June 19th, 1865, he arrived in Galveston, Texas, and um, told everyone that it was, there was no more slavery. The celebration of Juneteenth uh, came about from this. There are some uh, 
business people here in San Antonio on the east side that organize um, a parade. It usually starts over on uh, Houston Street, past East, uh, uh, Sam Houston High School, on to W.W. W. White, and it goes all the way down to Comanche Park. And there's floats, and there's cars, people on horseback, and um, it's a two-day uh, festival. There's food, they, when they get to the park, there's a lot of food and vendors, and that's where they uh, kind of, um, they meet up. And, and it also tells a story, and it lets our kids know, the children, pass down the history of the past. And even today, we're still overcoming. It should, to me, it shouldn't be, but it tells also what a strong people we are. I've been seeing this um, for, you know, throughout my lifetime, different periods. It's amazing because a younger generation, a new generation of people are now seeing it and experiencing. There were marches, there's all, you know, for back when Dr. King was alive and before then, people would march when they were. And it's, it's interesting to see things coming full circle again. And hopefully these, there'll be some really uh, significant changes that will finally take hold and, and be a, a real part of this country. We are one people, but we have overcome so much. It's a, freedom is beautiful. Welcome back everyone. Well, reading books is a great way to approach kids with topics that may seem a little difficult to bring up in discussion. And when it comes to social justice in America, there are so many children's books that can help you talk with your little ones about it. Okay, today we have help from the San Antonio Public Library and its new Overdrive collection available on ebooks, audiobooks, and more. So here are five books on that list. First one, A Good Kind of Trouble. This book is about friendship, family, and standing up for what's right. Story centers around a 12-year-old girl Girl, Shayla, who's facing protests while in middle school and forced to choose sides. You can borrow the book, uh, the audiobook, online right now. Soldier for Equality. This is a story of a Mexican-American war hero who lived in the early 20th century. He became part of the intelligence office in Europe, but despite his hard work and intellect, he didn't receive credit for his contributions, ultimately leading to his creation of the League of United Latin American Citizens, or LULAC. Ghost Boys. Now, this is a story about a boy who was killed by a police officer who mistook his toy gun for a real gun. He comes back as a ghost and meets other ghosts who help him realize that only the living can actually make the world a better place. Hair Love. The character in this one, Zuri, has hair with a mind of its own. This book is described as tender and empowering. Zuri, a little girl, knows her hair is beautiful, but when her dad has to style it for a special occasion, he has a lot to learn. This story is an ode to loving your natural hair and also a celebration of daddies and daughters everywhere. There are many more to choose from on the San Antonio Public Library's database. Just head to salive.com and you know what to do. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Alrighty, and from children's books to something for the grown-ups. Back in January, we met Hezekiah Watkins. Now, he was one of the youngest freedom riders who set out to desegregate buses and bus stations in the South. And his book, Pushing Forward, tells that story. Our Jen Tobias Trusky sat with Hezekiah and a group of Freedom Riders earlier this year. We are here at Designer Glitz and Glamour Spa and Salon, and we're about to talk to some of the Freedom Riders who made such an impact on the civil rights movement. One of the things that many of us who were involved in the movement have been saying for years 
and trying to impress upon people not to underestimate. And that is, do not take the gains that we've made for granted. On this special day, we celebrate our freedom and continue to focus on change for the better. If we can continue raising the awareness, I say, but keeping this history alive and uh, uh, encouraging our young people to get involved. Don't just sit back and, you know, watch things happen that you know are wrong. For these five Freedom Riders, just teens back in the 60s, making such an impact on history wasn't something they even thought about. All they knew is that they wanted to end segregation. I was 13 years of age going to jail and getting out and going back to play. But after getting out and began to realize the impact that I had for that short period of time and the impact that I had on the community. As many may know, the Freedom Riders were met with angry protesters and violence almost everywhere they went in the South, including sit-ins at segregated lunch counters. I thing was, how can you treat someone that's as much a human being as you are? How can you treat them like that because of the color of their skin? I couldn't understand it. There was this um, restaurant that we used to go, and on one side it was for blacks, and we only had a jukebox and a couple of uh, booths and and there was a window there that we used to have to ring the bell right remember that <laughs> but while you're standing there ringing that bell you could see the other side which was larger had tables white tablecloths you know they were uh, serving dinner to whites but when the movement started my my greatest pleasure was that, you know, we went on that side and we were able to sit there. They did not serve us, you know, and then eventually they would start, you know, they would ask us to leave and then they would start pushing us out. And one thing people may not even realize is that being arrested for the civil rights protest also meant that jail record followed them in the future for their careers. When I first started working for the federal government in 1967, and filled out my paperwork and it said, have you ever committed a crime? And I checked no. So there was you know, no other question following that that I had to amplify my answer. So of course I had to be fingerprinted and when the fingerprint report came back, I was called to a personnel office. All five agree education is key for the younger generations to never forget the sacrifices made for freedom. You know, we've noticed changes in the transportation and the educational system with the desegregation of schools. We, we stress to young people the price, the struggle that people have paid to give you the opportunity to get the kind of education that you need to advance yourself. Have you taken the Plexiderm 10 minute challenge? It might be something fun to do for summer and it will make you look younger. Check out these reactions. This is the first time these people looked in the mirror after they took the challenge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Wow, is that really me? <laughs> <laughs> it's a facelift in a jar. Lifestyle expert Tia Leslie joins me today to show us how we can take the challenge at home and get rid of those under eye bags and wrinkles. Hey there, Tia. Hey, Fiona. What is the 10 minute challenge? Yes, yeah, so great question. So we put a nationwide challenge together for those people that are skeptical as to whether Plexiderm really visibly does get rid of under eye bags and lines within 10 minutes. The results, people were astounded, Fiona. People couldn't believe that this little serum packs such a powerful punch in one application. It's called Plexiderm, amazing. And you have video of one woman, Georgine, and it's sped up yes. so you can see the changes, right? So tell us it, what we're it, seeing. Yes, exactly. So this is Georgie. So this is a funny story. She actually came into the studio pretty skeptical. 
So she sat down. Obviously, she's a lovely lady, but she's got some lines around her eyes, on her cheek, around her mouth. And all we've done, we've just dabbed a little of the Plexiderm Serum on. A little goes a long way. You really only need about a half a pea size. We left her for about 10 minutes. We came back. She was looking in the mirror. She couldn't believe it. She was astounded. She looked younger. She looked more refreshed. She really came in skeptical, and she left a believer in Plexiderm by the time she left. So this takes 10 minutes, and bonus, you can do it at home, so no doctor's visits, right? And what we want to say is Plexiderm is actually a cosmetic solution that's an alternative to an injectable. It's fast, it's easy, and what I really love about it, Fiona, is that you can do this all from the comfort of your own home. And this is the technology behind it. I love that they've married natural products with the really cutting edge technology in today's skincare. So they've taken shale rock and what they've done is they've extracted the nutrients from it, which are called silicates, which is a mineral. They've infused that into the Plexiderm serum. And so then what this does is when you apply it to clean dry skin, it actually pulls up those crevices, if you will, and tighten simultaneously to really give you that beautiful, smooth appearance. It's chock full of peptides and collagen, really nourishing for your skin at the same time. If you wanna put makeup on over it, you certainly can, but you're gonna be using less makeup because the serum is actually really gonna be doing the heavy lifting for you. So you're saving time and money, and that's a win-win in my book for sure. And I see both men and women are using it. Is it the same formula for both? Same formula. So if you're waking up to a busy executive in the morning and he's got some bags going on underneath that eye, he can use it as well. Obviously, men don't use usually typically wear makeup. So this goes on clear. And again, all you really need is about a half a pea size. So maybe you've got a gentleman in your life that needs Flexiderm. And obviously, it works for women as well. So both men and women works beautifully for both. Have any studies been done on Plexiderm? Uh, they did two studies last year. They really wanted to study the effectiveness of Plexiderm. And the numbers that came back, really pretty amazing. So on average, they found about, about an 80% reduction around lines around the eyes and on those under eye bags, about an 85% reduction on the really troublesome forehead lines that get really deep, and about a 74% reduction around lines around your mouth. And the other study, we really wanted to see how long does it last. It lasts for 10 hours. So as long as you don't jump in a pool midday, you're fine. Thank you so much for your time. You can take Thank the you. Plexiderm 10 minute challenge at home today. They have a 4th of July special right now, a Plexiderm trial pack for just $14.95 plus free shipping. Just call 800-706-3765 or visit PlexidermTrial.com. Everybody's using TikTok nowadays, not only teenagers, but dads. And you've got something for those social media fun-loving dads, right? Yeah, so air jams is basically like an air guitar pick, but when you move, it's like app connected. So when you move or dad moves, um, it plays music and plays the instrument that he has selected. So Mike, there was one gift that Jen Munoz told us about that you really, really like, so. Por vous. Oh, really? Por vous. Do I do it? Do I? Huh? Can... Crinkle, 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 crinkle. <gasps> oh, it's the, oh, it was the, uh, the air guitar, the air jam thing. <laughs> is your life complete now? Yes, what? it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this will drive my family nuts. I love it. Oh, anything oh. to keep you from telling dad jokes. That'll keep you busy. <laughs> All right. So your homework is to use those over the weekend. And of course, we'll we'll show folks on Monday all the fun you had. Hey, I'm going to have to tell you, give it a give it a good play on maybe coming up here. So I do a whole segment on doing this. Uh, hey, we're going to close out the show today with a high school mariachi musician, Israel Cervantes, with his song about fathers, mi padre, and photos of the dads in our lives. Happy Father's Day, of course, to all the dads out there.